Okay, so today we're going to start concept 26, which is using function notation to solve equations. What we know about function notation already is we already know how to do a problem like this. f of x equals 2x minus 8, and we find f of 3. So just to, remember, just to remind you, this is just another way of asking you to evaluate when x is equal to 3. So like this, again, is just a notation, and this is the rule. So 2x minus 8 is the rule. I'm asking you to put in 3. So it looks like this. If you forget, it looks like f of 3 equals 2 times 3 minus 8. So you just replace the x. So 2 times 3 is 6 minus 8, and 6 minus 8 is negative 2. So your final answer then will be f of 3 equals negative 2. Just a reminder, the f here is not a variable. This stands for function. This is a rule of a function, and we'll talk later more about what function is. So at the end, this is our answer. We put in 3, we got out negative 2. So if you look below that problem, I just want to remind you that input is the domain and output is the range. So technically here, input domain, that's actually x. Output range is actually actually y. And remember, ordered pairs go x and y. It's x is always what you put in, y is always what you get out. Go ahead and try the next two. Stop the video and then come back to see if your answers are correct. So here are the answers to these next two. Now if you didn't actually do it and show your work, you really do need to stop the video and do it. If you didn't get them right, take a minute, stop the video, look at my work, see what you got. What I'm asking you down to do at the bottom where it says make an ordered pair, I'm basically asking you, well, what did you put in and what did you get out, right? So the answer to this one is g of negative 5 equals 61. Well, I put in negative 5, I got out 61. So technically, x is negative 5, y is 61. So the ordered pair would look like this. It would say negative 5, 61. Ordered pairs are always in parentheses and always separated by a comma, and it always goes x and then y in parentheses. So the next one, I put in 10, I got out 30, so the ordered pair would be 10, 30. So moving along now to something that is not review is what if the problem looks like this? If I say the equation is y equals 2x minus 8, and I say find x when y equals 10, well, that's the same question as asking this. Do you see how this one is a little bit different? This says f of x equals 2x minus 8. And in this case, the question doesn't say, like, find f of 3 or f of 2 or anything. It says find x. So I need to find x when f of x equals 10. So basically, I'm saying this entire thing, 2x minus 8, is equal to 10. That's our output. So 10 is our output. The x, we don't know what that is. So this is what we do, and this is a little tricky. We actually replace f of x with the number 10, because I say here f of x equals 10, and that's our output. So we're now going to say 10 equals 2x minus 8, and the directions say find x. Well, we know how to do that now, right? We isolate the variable. So I'm going to add 8 to both sides, and I get 18 equals 2x, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and I get then that 9 is equal to x. So there you go, x is equal to 9. Now if I asked you to give me an ordered pair, well in this case, that would mean that 9 is our x value and our y value was 10, all right? So now, essentially what I'm saying here is that f of x, this crazy notation here, is actually y. All right, so pretty much what is in, if, you, if I put a number in the parentheses, I'm asking you to evaluate the rule over here. If I say find x when f of x is equal to a number, what I'm doing is I'm giving you the y value or the output, and I'm asking you to solve the equation to find the x value. So really look at the difference between this question and the first question and see if you can see how they're different. So let's go ahead and do this next one together. f of x equals 2 times, in parentheses, 3x minus 5 plus 7. I'm asking you, notice the question says, find x when f of x equals 12. So what I'm saying here is that the f of x, this notation, is the number 12. I'm saying find x 
So if I'm asking you to find x, I'm asking you to solve the equation for x when the entire equation is equal to 12. So we're going to work backwards. So find x means solve an equation. We're not simplifying. So I distribute, and I get 6x minus 10 equals, uh, minus 10 plus 7 is equal to 12. And at the end, if you want to write equals 12 instead of putting the 12 at the beginning, that's okay. Then combine your like terms. So your constants here are negative 10 and 7. Negative 10 plus 7 is negative 3. So what I have is 12 equals 6x minus 3. Then I'm going to add 3 to both sides. And when I add 3 to both sides, they cancel out on the right. 12 plus 3 is 15 equals 6x. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 6. And I get x is equal to, well, 15 over 6 is an improper fraction. 6 doesn't go into 15, so I'm going to reduce that to 5 over 2. I can divide the top and the bottom by 3 and get 5 over 2. Or if you want to say that's 2 and a half, you can. So the value of x in this case is 5 over 2. If I asked you to write it as an ordered pair, which I'm not in this problem, but if I did, it would be 5 over 2, 12. So when I put in 5 over 2, I get out 12. Go ahead and stop the video and do the next one on your own. Really stop it. So now here's my work for this problem. I'm asking you here to find the value of x when f of x is equal to 0. So 0 is my output. Notice where it is. I don't have an x in there. So I'm asking you to replace that entire notation with the number 0. And then you work backwards to solve the equation. And you get x equals 3. If you didn't get x equals 3, look at my work and see if you can figure it out. Now at the very bottom of your page, I want you to pay attention to this. This is one more little strange thing about function notation. When the equation is set equal to 0, like the last question we just did, the solution, the value of x, can be called the zero of the equation or the zero of the function. So for the last example, three is the zero of the function. And you have to be very familiar with the wording of this. So for this next question, I say f of x equals two minus two times the quantity of four x minus four. So this whole thing right here is the problem. And I'm saying find the zero of the function what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to find out what is the input when the output is zero. So I replace f of x. So anytime it says zero of the function, you are replacing that notation with the number zero and you are working backwards to solve for x. So the zero of the function is the value of x when the output is zero. So go ahead and solve that equation right there and then go over and solve the next equation as well. Stop the video and then come back and look at my work to see if you've done it right. It's not gonna help you to just keep watching the video right now, really stop it and do it. All right, so yes, you're correct. Both answers do give you x is equal to 1 half. If you didn't get that, really look at my work and see if you can figure it out. One mistake people try to make or make is right here. Notice a negative over negative. Remember, that's always a positive. Four eighths reduces to one half. Don't give me decimals. I'm not cool with decimals. All right, give me your fractions. You need fraction practice. So what I want you to do now, if you don't understand this, you need right now to start asking questions. So get somebody to help you. Um, there's four more problems that I want you to do. And the answers, actually, I want you to finish the whole page. The answers are at the very bottom. So work through the problems and see if you can figure out what the answers are. And if you're getting stuck, help each other. Really see so you can figure out what you're doing wrong. There are some review questions at the bottom that I want you to do also. Be careful with problems one, two, three, and four because really look and see what I'm asking you to do. Like problems one and two, they are the same function, but I'm asking you to do two different things. It's important that you understand the difference between the two. Good luck.